Isn't it just about the worst thing ever when you grow attached to a product and then you find out that it's been discontinued? This is my list of memorable favorites that are gone but not forgotten. Please let me know what your favorite discontinued products are. We can, <laughs> we can cry about it together. The first one on the list, and this is in no particular order, is a fairly recent product that's been discontinued. It's the Naturium Vitamin K Liposome Serum 3%. Since the day it launched, this was Naturium's most underrated product, and it makes me really sad. It was a really beautiful texture, like a cross between a fairly creamy gel fluid with a bit of a nourishing, oily kick. So it was both hydrating, but also nourishing. The blend of ingredients was also really awesome, with a bunch of like skin soothing extracts, a lot of antioxidants, so it just ticked a lot of boxes. From what I understand, this was discontinued because one of the suppliers stopped making one of the key ingredients, but I also don't think the product like caught on widely, so there was no real reason for Naturium to like freak out about it not being around anymore. And also because Naturium is expanding globally, there are some, I think, restrictions or limitations around vitamin K as an ingredient. So so it probably just also added to the reasons as to not like not to hold on to this so tightly. I just really hope they can bring this texture back in some way, whether it's in a redeveloped format with a different sort of key ingredient, that would be really great maybe like in a different skin soothing blend or something along those lines. I got a lot of feedback about this serum in my DMs, especially when people started to notice it was out of stock. A lot of people who struggle with chronic redness really found it helpful in managing those symptoms. So yeah, it's a bit of a shame that this one is gone, but um, we loved it while it was around. Next is a Sunday Riley product, and it's actually a face oil, which is generally not one of my favorite categories, but it was the Artemis face oil. I think Sunday Riley makes really great face oils across the board, this one just particularly stood out. Artemis was described and I guess marketed as a face oil for confused skin and I just really loved that description because sometimes I feel like my skin is confused and I don't know how else to describe it so I really loved that. There were points in time where I was obsessed with this and I had several bottles in backup at all times. Kind of understand why this maybe wasn't beloved widely because the texture was quite unusual. It was labelled as having a lightweight skin feel but it actually actually it actually had a fairly like thick and quite heavy texture. It was syrupy, just like actually not light at all. And the scent itself, which I personally enjoyed, but I can understand also why it was off-putting. It was very lemony, but kind of bitter. So not a sweet lemon, but a very strong kind of herbal, just intense lemon, like rind maybe is a closer description, but not really zingy, it was just bitter. And also rather than like absorbing, it kind of felt like it sat on the skin surface a little bit more than other oils. So I would use it predominantly at night and that texture didn't bother me. But again, I can see why maybe people wouldn't enjoy that because it was a bit more surface feeling. But none of those supposed drawbacks mattered to me. Nothing like clarified and made my skin as happy as this oil did. You know, luckily since then I've discovered Tretinoin and Lotion P50 and Build Agel, so I have a new arsenal of favorites. But when I needed this, this was available to me at a point in my life where I really cherished it. It just made my skin feel so clear and soothed and smooth and just happy. In my mind, it was like a true like healing elixir, as corny as that sounds. As I mentioned, I've since discovered like tretinoin and lotion P50. So maybe if I were using retinoids and things at the point in time that I was using this oil, it wouldn't have impressed me as much, but it definitely filled that gap that I now am able to sort of achieve with other products. But I still miss it. I think if it were around, I would still be buying it. It was just that awesome. Number three is the Build Skincare B Cream Body. If you followed me for a length of time, you'll know that I am obsessed with Build. I love B Cream with my whole heart. For a while there, Build actually had a B Cream version for body. It originally came in a pump bottle and then transitioned into like a, a large round jar. And I absolutely loved that body moisturizer. It was like using B Cream for face, but in a body format and just had a little bit more slip. It just went a little bit further. Um, I don't think it's technically discontinued. It's just been rested. So we might see it come back at some point in the future. I actually have two of these still in backup because I used to buy a few of them at a time. I probably do need to open them. They'll likely expire soon, but I just don't want to miss them. So yeah, it is a very basic body cream that you probably can find from other brands. It's just like at least similar, but just the way Bill does textures is like incomparable, irreplaceable. Build is just at the peak of simple, well-designed product textures. 
The next one on the list is the Alpha Rage Triple Action Cleanser, but the version with Triclosan. The Triple Action Cleanser actually still exists. It's just that it was reformulated several years ago. I don't even know when, a while ago now, before Alpha Rage became as popular as it is now. It used to be more of like a salon brand. I love this cleanser because it was non-foaming and still is non-foaming. And especially at the time that I was using it, that was actually very rare in the skincare industry as everybody just had foaming cleanser. Cleansers. In some ways, it's very like ahead of the trends. I'm not even sure if the triclosan component of this cleanser is what made it great. I just remember being kind of pissed off that they reformulated it, so I stopped using it like out of principle. It's almost like I convinced myself that the updated version just wouldn't work as well because triclosan is supposed to be like this antibacterial ingredient, but there's a bit of controversy around it, so I definitely understand why it was removed. I haven't used the updated version ever or if I have it would have been years ago so it's probably time to revisit it because I might actually love the updated or current version but you know when a brand that you love changes a product that you love it's kind of hard for them to convince you to just accept the new version I think now I'd be just more understanding about it because it's really not a big deal but you know at that point in time where you feel like a product is working so well for you you want to hold on to it as long as you can the last one on the list is the product from The Ordinary it was their Alpha Lipoic Acid Serum 5%. This is a bit of an odd product and maybe an unusual ingredient for The Ordinary to feature as like an isolated standout ingredient. And to be honest, even now I haven't looked into this ingredient as much in terms of the amount of substantiation that's around about it. All I can tell you is that I used to apply this product at night. It would sometimes feel a bit weird and like it was burning my skin without actually burning it. But I'd wake up the next morning with this like very vibrant kind of clear, bright complexion. In my mind, I considered it like an expression facial in a bottle. It was like an exfoliating product without being directly exfoliating. It was brightening without using a physical polish. It just ticked a lot of boxes in a very like quick overnight way. And although I miss it, it's something that I wasn't using regularly. It was very much just an every now and then product. And again, because it's probably not as much like awareness about this ingredient just in the market generally, it probably makes sense that it's not a dedicated standalone product in the ordinary line anymore. I also suspect maybe that there were some issues with like stability because the formula used to change appearance quite quickly. Sometimes within a few weeks of use, it would become like fairly cloudy. I don't know if that affected the performance, but it visually, it definitely looked kind of weird. So maybe this ingredient is just not that stable and that's part of the reason they got rid of it. That's it for this list, or at least all the products that have come to mind like immediately please do let me know in the comments if you have any discontinued favorites and i will see you in the next video